So yeah, basically, guys, we're two weeks, two weeks, four days into flowering. Now we need to start introducing the organic molasses to the mix. Uh, the fish waste, that's a whole different story. We won't be using any of that. Well, we can probably use some of the, uh, the molasses with the, the fish waste as it is organic molasses. So we'll still be keeping it all organic there. Uh, yeah, we are two weeks, four days into flower. Uh, and we're using a mix of 222 on the floor of feed. So two tablespoons of each per gallon. Uh, yeah, in my bucket we've got 15 litres of water. I basically class around that, rounding that up to three gallons, guys. So, and then obviously through transition we're using the floor of feed at a ratio of 222. Two, two. Uh, that's two tablespoons per gallon. So it was six of the six of the bloom, six of the grow, and six of the micro in a 15 litre bucket, and we didn't we haven't currently used any molasses at all. Uh, yeah, and now we're going to be switching that over and then changing the feed over now because we're fully into flower now. So we do need to use six of the micro now and nine of the bloom and three of the grow for a 15 litre bucket of water. And I've just mixed the other bits in a second ago. Uh, did that off camera. And then here's the uh, the three the three tablespoons of the flora grow, and we've done the micro six tablespoons of the micro and nine tablespoons of bloom. And here's my bucket here, guys. So yeah, and I've added the three tablespoons of the Epsom salt also, and that's one tablespoon per gallon. If you want to know what that is in accumulation on the scales, it's five gram per five gram of Epsom salt. Uh, and that's uh, that's class as one tablespoon of Epsom salt, guys. If you want to do it in grams, and then you can weigh it on your scales, then so you get it accurate. But I'm so good at this. I just, you know, I just know now, guys. I just know. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that, and then we're gonna undo the molasses now, and then we're gonna take three tablespoons of the molasses into the bucket also. Uh, this will be a one-off feed here guys, I will boost it up today with molasses and we'll use the organic molasses on it with this entire 15 litre of water. The entire amount of food today will be used on the plants today because I don't like to leave molasses in the bucket for too long because it, go, it bubbles up after a couple of days guys. If you leave a bubble it just bubbles up, it just goes off really really quickly when it's got that sugar in it and it goes a horrible nasty colour which I don't like and I have fed that to my plants before and give my plants a few deficiencies so I won't be doing that again. Uh, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, yeah, so we are going to take the pH to uh, 6.8 and normally when I've added all of this food we'll probably be on about 6.3 pH, uh, maybe 6.4 after adding molasses that's a bit more towards alkali than acidic uh, and then we were the cheap pH one dear and um, we'll just do a, we're going to mix that up and we're going to take the pH to uh, 6.8 because that's all that's required at the moment. Uh, yeah, we've added the Epsom salt, we've added the flora feed and we haven't added the molasses. We'll do that now and then we're going to mix the, probably we have to use the pH up to bring the pH up to 6.8. And then I'll chuck the molasses in there now. Which this stuff here guys is like glue. I don't really like using it. I don't like getting on my hands or anything. It's just, I don't even like the smell of it. It just smells like treacle guys, literally it smells like treacle, but it isn't treacle guys, it's raw sugar cane and this is the organic version, the best version you can use to feed your ganja plants with. You know if you're just going to use the advanced nutrients like Big Bud and things like that, they're just another source of amino acids which is just a source of sugar. So officially you don't even need any of them advanced nutrients products because they just have uh, a a source of amino acids in there and amino acids guys it's just sugar that's all it that's all that is it's just sugar it's just different forms of sugar you know and they put a stupid price tag on on that advanced nutrient especially the big board or you know or the bud candy they want 50 quid for a litre of that it's absolutely ridiculous when you read the back of it all that's got in there is just different types of amino acid and all that is guys it's just sugar it's just different sorts of sugar, so, you know, you can get all of that from molasses. You don't need to buy all of them products. Just a little bit of a scam, if you ask me. It's just not needed. I did actually give me mate a little bit of this molasses, so I've only got half a jar left now. 
I have given him eight some of this molasses because he did want to use molasses, he didn't want to use anything else but molasses. And yeah guys, it took a while to pour that but there is three tablespoons there and then that just needs mixing into the bucket now. And yeah, it's very very thick. It's thick guys, it's very thick and concentrated. It's raw sugar cane. Uh, yeah, it does actually taste of that, but it's not really my thing. Large doses of sugar. And yeah guys, we just want to be mixing that into the bucket. And that's going to require a little bit of dissolving. Sometimes people like to use lukewarm water. Uh, a couple of my other subscribers like to like to use it in um, tapid water, slightly warm water guys, because then it dissolves better in the bucket. Uh, this water has been left in my room for 24 hours and it's had an air bubble in it constantly. So, uh, I'll just be... Oh shit. I'll just be putting it in the bucket like that guys and I'll let it soak in and give it a good mix and then we'll sort the pH out in a second. Uh, yeah. Just give us a sec guys, turn the camera off and then I'm back in a sec. Ah, <sighs> so yeah guys, we're, it's reading 6.8 now and that's 15 litres of food prepared and done. And now all's required is to go up and feed the plants. The water has been left out for maybe, maybe a day or two with a bubbler in it, an air stone and then bubbler in it constantly it's constantly bubbled in my room guys it's like only time it's not is when i'm mixing the food in it but apart from that yeah and then we're on 6.8 and that's where we need to be guys and then that's perfect now and then just need to go and do a feed on plants i'm not bother showing you that part of it though guys because it's fucking just feeding plants in it <laughs> do you know what i mean i just need to show you how to mix the food up guys just in case you wanted to use this food and then, yeah pretty clear instructions on how to use it I think there guys uh, if you can't work that one out honestly fucking hell I fucking quit yeah well, that's it guys anyway so just run with you through that again we use three tablespoons of the molasses uh, we use six tablespoons of the micro we use nine tablespoons of the flora bloom and we use three tablespoons of the flora grow three tablespoons of epsom salt and then we've used the ph up to bring that to 6.8 and then that's basically it guys it's just you just need to woof, use that entire 15 litres of water on your plants obviously depending on how many plants you have you might not need that much but because i've got like a good 11 or 12 plants up there i am going to need a 15 litre bucket for all them plants and that's just going to give them plants that one feed of molasses and after that it's gone it's just i'll have to make, mix another batch up for that but they're not going to need a feed anyway after this molasses feed here guys they're definitely not going to need a feed for a couple more days after that you're just going to leave them and let them form flowers and let them take this amino acid in that's going to really benefit them and yeah i just wanted to show you that today guys just covering a few a few things today as well uh yeah like guys subscribe comment and that's it for now green oats out